What's up, New Yorkshire? Welcome to the Bro Hogan Podcast. Today we have a very special guest. Bugman. The one and only superhero in this big-ass city. Damn. You must work like a whore in Fleet Week, huh? <laughs> well, putting your kind comparison aside, not really. I just punch the bad guys unconscious and the police do the rest. I've heard people who criticize you for that saying crime is better fought against by economic and community means. What do you think of that? Well, if I could give criminals money instead of concussions, I would, trust me. But serious question, how much money would I have to give to drug dealers and human traffickers to really make them stop? Yeah, I don't know. What? What's that, Jimmy? Oh, Bugman. Apparently the city needs you urgently. Getting stuck in a tree? <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, who are you? Samira. And your alias? What? You're a superhero. You need an alias. Well, stopping an alien invasion doesn't help me think about alter egos, you know? That's fucking right, my ninjas! We're officially streaming number one in the whole world! Yo, but bro, who's the sexy little devil? Who the fuck are you? Guys. Can we focus on closing this portal? Leave it to me, babe. Well, shooting it didn't work. I suggest punching it a bunch instead. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! No, 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 no. We're allies. Oh. Well, you really should have warmed up with this because, you know. Who are you? We've got no time for I'm this. I'm Joy Chan the Chinese goddess of war, sexuality and longevity. Well, that explains a lot. I'm Dean, by the way. I I'll send another proxy real fast. Watch out! And who are you? I forgot. Who is that? For fucks. That is America, baby! Yeah! Who are you freaks? People, can we focus on the fucking portal, please? Alright, Juithi and I will destroy this shit. The rest of you cover our asses. Kid, you mean cover our six. Bro, what are you talking about? That one's a ten. <laughs> With that shit. We're going as fast as we. What the fuck? Look out! What? Well, that's so convenient. I'm not even gonna question it. We're saved. Damn, it's been like 50 years since I've seen action like this. 
Five hundred for me. Oh fuck. <gasps> fuck you, D. No, 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 no. What the fuck is this? It's my roommate. Blake, why am I wearing this? That's what's eating at you, Algy. Why you're wearing that? Not how you ended up being a red naked monster? He's not a monster, he's Agni. What? Yeah, Hindu god. Perfect body. Red skin. <laughs> Three legs. I'm not a god and I know exactly how I became that. It's the instant muscle serum I've been working on for years. I was so close to having the muscle mass without losing any mental faculties, but the alien invasion started. Then some alien came into the apartment and I was left with no choice but to use the serum on myself. Hey, at least this time I didn't do human testing with homeless people. Fucking excuse me? Algy and I used to work for an evil research lab that did experiments with bums. When I found out about this, I convinced Algy to help right this wrong. And so he injected me with the insect serum, thus turning me into Bugman. Hold on, Blake. I remember you injected yourself after I told you one of the side effects was phallus enlargement. Hmm? Anyways, we took down the evil corporation, reverted as many mutations as we could, and ever since we've used our abilities for the greater good, alright? What about the vlogs you upload into your end streams? Is that for the greater good as well? Who the fuck are you? I'm Dean Diamond. Hmm? I was controlling the proxy. Oh, cool. You really don't know about me? Uh, I'm the guy with the most subs in urine streams. The one that said the N-word! People are getting outraged at all the bullshit now. How the fuck do you own a robot with heavy weaponry? It was the bodyguard of my dad. But he got a better one, so I got to keep the old model. So how did you go from making effortless content to saving the city? Well, actually, it was you, Bug Bro. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad I inspired- You get a shit ton of views without having to flex, I had to get in on that hero shit. You're only doing it for attention? Hey, if a guy fills up a pool with champagne and models, but no one is there to see it, did it really happen? What? What about you, Samira? Why did you decide to save the city? Well, you see, I was born and raised in hell. Venezuela? No, what I mean is that my father is the devil. Ah, that's what all girls say. I never met my mother. My father never wanted to tell me who she was, or where she was. Hey guys. I spent my whole life locked away in a tower. Which, I don't know if it was to imprison me or to protect me. All I could do was practice music and black magic, which I used to contact people in this world who helped me escape. Daughter of the devil, queen of darkness, bring about the end times. Bring us your wrath, bring us your power. We pledge our life to you. We pledge our death to you. Daughter of the devil, we are at your service. What do you require of us to bring about the end times? This is Earth? Holy shit, I made it! Grass feels so good! Look at that sky, it's so beautiful! My queen, what about the end times? When are you getting on that? What the fuck are you- Oh yeah, right, right. Um, I'm gonna need a few things before then. They brought me into this world to destroy it, but I immediately fell in love with it. It's so different from hell. The weather is not unbearably hot, and your population is so nice. Comparatively, of course. Your food is so tasty and so diverse. In hell, we just have the same six variations of demon goat.
So when the invasion started, I knew I didn't want to lose this world. And I'll be fucked if I let anyone threaten to destroy it. Demoness, that could be your alter ego. I like it. Satan, huh? <laughs> he's so much fun. You know him? I know every deity in history. After all, I am the goddess of war and sexuality. When humans stopped believing in us, we became more likely to die. So most of us retired to paradise. Ugh, but a few centuries of peace were too much for me. So I decided to come back. I wanted to live in China again, but that current president Pu wouldn't stop annoying me. After that, the strange worm invasion started here, so I thought I'd have some fun with that. I heard a goddess of sexuality. And Wafe. Well, I know plenty about war. After all, I am a gamer, but I'd love to know more about sex. <sighs> You're not ready for this, but fuck it. I have nothing better to do. Well, that just happened. So what's your story, mister? He is Green Beret, the first and last American hero. That's fucking right, son. My name is Steven Stern, and I was born in the year 1776. I was the general who conquered the most land for America. It was land once occupied by the natives, which is why the Cherokee sorceress put a curse on me. Curse of immortality. Guess she thought I would hate it. Ever since, nothing can kill me. Not wounds, age, poison, nothing. Though so I decided to use this curse for the service of this great country. I've fought in countless wars, whether it's to conquer or to liberate. To enforce the law from east to west, or to stop genocidal collectivism. I, the first Green Beret, was there, ready for anything. But between sissy administrations, fucking drones, and pansy hackers, I've been out of action for decades. That is, until those aliens made the same mistake as the Japs and the Arabs. Sir, be careful. People don't like those kind of names now, and they'll try to ruin your life. Son, I'm not afraid to defend my First Amendment rights by making use of the second. What the... Don't worry, he'll walk again in a couple days. Guys, we're closing soon. Oh, what are y'all up to? Algy and I have to return to our place. Assess the damage and all that shit. Well, the damage is that the building doesn't exist anymore. God damn it. I had just bought that Ying Yang coffee table. You're not alone there, kids. My house got wrecked as well. I don't think the witches will take me in unless I bring the end times. I'm sure I won't be allowed back in paradise. We're not supposed to interfere in this world anymore. Why don't y'all come live with me? Where? The city is safe, new house, new friends, couldn't have ended better. Well, if hundreds of people didn't die in the invasion, that would have been better. Oh, shut the fuck up.